Let's take him to Instructor Razzle. Yeah. Justice shall be served. <laughs> oh no, what, what's oh no? There was a quick outage. Did it work? I didn't... I didn't drop any frames though. Oh no, I'm sorry. The mission was... Quiet on the floor. I'm sorry. No, it seems like it's you too. Huh. It doesn't say my stream got weird though. So I don't... I don't know. Maybe Twitch is being twitchy. The trial of Alchemist Rixel is now in session. Prosecution, you may present your evidence. Instructor, this man hired yes. to steal my research and impeded our attempt to resolve the monster epidemic. It's true. He gave us a payment in his coin purse. It says Rixel on the inside. This thief must have stolen it from me as I stood here. That's not all. We discovered Rixel is to blame for the mutation in the first place. He poisoned the monsters on purpose. Lies! Silence! You'll be given time for your rebuttal. Mina, can you substantiate your claim? Rixel recorded how he infected the monsters in these notes. Take a look for yourself. He used samples from the Dark Realm. The old fool. To commit treason, then write it down. I ran tests on the infected monster cells and confirmed Rixel's research was the cause of the mutation. I've brought samples for you to examine. I see. The samples confirm your claim. Rixel, you are charged with theft, destruction of property, conspiracy, and treason. The punishment for these crimes is banishment from the Brigade, and a sanction upon your culinary power. How do you plead? Not guilty, Instructor. I am appalled by these blatant falsehoods. Are you really going to take the word of these hooligans? The research they mentioned was stolen from a Brigade lab. Mm-hmm. Curious that you never reported it missing. How do you explain the documents presented? In instructor, please. I was only trying to end the true blight. I sought to cure monsters once and for all, but the committee only cared about his uninspired Ambrosia project. It doesn't have to be like this, Rixel. We can put the past behind us and move forward. If only you'd let go. I refuse to take advice from a hack like you. Prattling away about perfect flavors when there's real work to be done. I'm twice the alchemist you'll ever be. Rixel, since you've been unable to present compelling evidence to the contrary, I pronounce you guilty. You will never work as an alchemist again. I'm not sure why. Are forbidden from all culinary experimentation. No, alchemy is my lifeblood. I demand a trial by cooking. Puppy! Yes! Pooch! Puppy pup! He must be out cold. A trial by cooking? Brigade law dictates that anyone accused of a crime may request it. The severity of Rixel's crimes only make him eligible for a reduced sentence. He won't get away. By order of the Battle Chef Brigade, we will honor your appeal and commence the trial by cooking. Prosecution, who do you name as your champion? It's all you, Blue Jay. How dare you? But I... To never practice I alchemy again, though? I know he made bad decisions, but didn't he try to do something noble? I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't cook. I know what he said, and I know he means it. You still can't let him win. Trust me, Mina. He'll hurt more people than you can imagine. Alright. I trust the dead guy. I trust you. All of you. Instructor, I'll face him. Very well. If Mina wins, Rixel will be convicted and forever banned from alchemy. If Rixel prevails, however, he'll be allowed to continue alchemy under the strict supervision of a brigade veteran, but may only cook with dull pots and pans. The Ouch. rules are the same as ever. Provide each of our judges the best cuisine, but this time, the extent of Rixel's conviction is on the line. <laughs> I've assembled our top judges, Maradane, Hasjil, and Akebo, to sit in judgment for this trial. One of the each. The theme ingredient for this match represents the many threads that brought you here. Hydra! Hydra! Alright! Chefs, 
Begin. Nope. It's legit. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Holy crap, she is so much faster. Start with Earth. Now we need. Had enough yet, girl? You'll never enough. defeat a master alchemist like me. Try it. Done with Earth. Now we need water. We need your neck. Yes. Crack more claw. made a bad choice. Oh no. We need more water. That's the wrong kind of water.
that's water. And now we need all the fire we can handle. Awesome. What? All the fire. Togiki. We're we're cooking for fun and saving the world. This is fine. Just put it down. You're done. <laughs> the judges will now decide Rixel's fate. Outstanding. Lantern fruit babao fa fan. Garnished with slime sauce and lapizar tail melange. I love that the fire's intensity comes through in every bite. Great mouthfeel and impeccable flavor. This would be a fine addition to any menu. Expertly crafted. Hydra steamed rounds, garnished with Hydra Neck and Candle Gourd Medley. It's a slow burn, but that makes the fire even more exciting. Excellent as always. You've come a long way since the beginning of the tournament. Hmm. Flavors in harmony. Hydra stew served with slime sauce and watery sauce assortment. Your interpretation of this dish is my favorite by far. Plenty of earth spread evenly throughout. Beware of poisonous elements in your dishes. They should be dealt with before serving. Quite delicious. Stir fried lapizard legs with a side of lapizard tail and hydrodeck melange. Congrats, knives. Earth is the perfect stabilizer. You've captured it beautifully in this dish. A clever blend of flavors and textures. I can tell you have a keen sense for complementary elements. Oh, dang. That was a lot of points. Delightful. Crispy skin and verskit. Served with lapizard legs and lupir bladder medley. You certainly adapted well. The water brings a freshness without adding unnecessary density. Hmm. Good question. Your ingredients have ratings above acceptable contaminant limits for a dish of this kind. Scrumptious. Steamed hydro rolls, served with hydronic and Cragmore Claw Melange. Beautifully hydrating. That water is a very is a nice antidote to this summer day. Well measured and executed. The ingredients blend together quite well. Almost 500 points. By the power vested in me by the brigade committee, I shall now declare a winner. Mina wins the match! Yeah. By 16 points. And I made three different dishes. Yay. Rixel, I strip you of all stations and titles. You are hereby banished from the Brigade and its satellite institutions. Oh no! You can't do this to me! I bet your so-called peacekeepers didn't even tell you the worst of their crimes. They repeatedly went into the Dark Realm. I suppose it's fortuitous they aren't the ones on trial then. You were given your last opportunity to prove yourself worthy in the Brigade's eyes. It does. Fame. 
Tiny ankles. Take him away. You four are in enormous trouble. Breaking into our lab, trespassing in the dark room. What were you thinking? We, we had to act, Instructor. Rixel would still be loose if we hadn't done something. Mina Han, I'm surprised at you. Did you learn nothing from your expulsion? I didn't. Wait, wasn't he supposed to be banished? Why is he in cuffs? They're taking him away out of. Their, they have to strip him of some stuff first before they banish him. I think. Hold on. The only grave digger here should be me. I'm the one who broke into the lab and discovered Rixel's whereabouts. <laughs> Not happening, man. We all did this together, Instructor. I'm sorry we broke the rules, but I stand by what we did. And you, Kieran? I. I found a cure for the mutation. One that will heal the monsters, protect our town, save our people's lives. We couldn't have done that waiting around for brigade approval. Do what you must. You found it? Instructor, I beg you for clemency. It would be absolute folly to toss such talented youngsters aside. Yeah! Go on, old man. And your request shall be granted. Come in. I know they meant well, but they broke fundamental brigade laws. You once told me that leadership wasn't about perfection, but how we deal with our imperfections. Their decisions were flawed, but they've contributed more to Victuja than most of our veterans. Yeah. All Rixel had to show for his secret work was an epidemic and countless sick. How my words come back to haunt me. You're right, Common. You're all on janitorial duty for the next week. And then, you will receive commendations for exquisite service. As for you, Zikri, I'd like to apologize for the committee's distrust. You may not have finished the tournament, but I name you an honorary brigadier. <laughs> oh, you're killing me! Wait, you're serious? Thanks. For now, we have a cure to administer. We'll make the preparations. You three meet us back at headquarters. Well, guys, it's been corporeal, but I have to leave. Leave? But we just put a man alchemist to justice. You're not even gonna stay for a meal? Dude. I completed my task here. It's time for me to go. Where will you go? To hell if I don't change my ways. <laughs> Han, you're the best. <laughs> you believed in me when nobody did, and made all this possible. What? I wasn't even here for part of the tournament. He's right, Blue. You got us all together. We wouldn't have caught Rixel if you'd stayed in Windy Village. Thank you. It's true. Oh, you mean so much to me. Well, that's all the time I have. He, he's really gone. Whoosh. Oh, and Thrash. When Lupus starts dating that fisherman's son, go easy on him. It's gonna be fun. Wait, what is that? Bye. Ziggy. Goodbye, Ziggy. There goes the strangest guy we'll ever meet. I wouldn't be so sure. Odd things tend to flock to us. And we'll be ready for them. Yeah. I don't know what and else is so, gonna happen. With the help of our brave. Oh, did we just beat it? <laughs> we administered the monster cure across Victusia. Mina, Thrash, and Kieran received their commendations and a feast was held in their honor. The three friends spent every possible moment together until the time came for them to part ways. Kieran joined the research branch and stayed in Brigade Town as Belchior's assistant, though in time she would surpass even him. Thrash swore to protect and provide in our military branch and set out for home. His village has never been happier or better fed. Mina followed her dreams of travel into our ambassador branch. Now she treks across Victusia, teaching our ways to the populace and learning new crafts from them. Nice. As for Ziggy, no one has heard from him since the day of the trial. But brigadiers across Victusia tell stories of a skeletal figure and his ghostly companion Good question. passing through their camps at night. Always smiling. That we may yet no! meet again. I did it again. Hmm. 
we could go into Elden Ring. We could do Vampire Survivors. Uh, I could pick up something new that may not get finished in time. Thank you for the GG, Moog. Also, welcome in. That's it. And you want your dreams to take to the sky. Not in the game, at least. Close your eyes. We could do evil. He did. Oh gosh, we've all got a whole bunch of pet time I haven't done yet. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I forgot about that. <laughs> Definitely knives. Here. All right, it was a Kickstarter as well. Question mark. Oh, that's going to be a lot of names. More? Oh no! Sure thing, everyone. As soon as the credits are done and I've taken a quick break, I will immediately do pet time. Why is Andrew Jensen's name yellow instead of white? Did he pay more? Question mark. Pet him into submission, sure.
Wow, okay. Thank you, Coraline. Welcome in as well. Kickstarter uh, credits. I wonder if they're a second tier of backer on Kickstarter and that's why their name is yellow. Like they're the gold backers or something. That was a pretty fun game. Uh, it was a little more um, visual novel than I was expecting. But it was good. <laughs> I would not like my name in the credits is in the credits. Sorry, I got excited. I saw an artist that I follow. <laughs> I'm excited about the silliest little things. <laughs> hey, Don Chaucho, welcome in. Hoo hoo. Uh, it's a it's a great feeling. Yeah. It, uh. I think that's how it's spelled. I, that's probably wrong, but I don't want to make the credits go away. I know that's not how it's spelled. Dang it, I spelled it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> she does the flat art for a webcomic that I really like. <laughs> All the separate artists you followed on Twitch are now like 90%. That's, see, that's funny. Mellow Wombat.
Yeah. I agree, knives. Correct. It takes a lot of work to be a really, really good artist, though. Other than you, I think there's a certain art to the way you are in chat, at least. Also, you could argue that the clothes you choose to wear is an expression of yourself and thus an art in its own right. So there. Sneaky art. <laughs> Why do you want to fight me? <laughs> That's a nice looking axe. <laughs> Thank you. No knives, don't make me axe you again. Why do you want to fight me? That is a lot of names. You just want to. I see. Okay. Oops. I hope you have fun in your D and D voice chat. The supreme king of all pigeons supported this game on Kickstarter. Close to the end, though. Until next time, battle chefs. There's extras. What's in the extras? Gallery. Credits. All right. So I'm going to quit out of that and take a quick break. I will be right back, and then we will do some puppy pet time.
Hello. Uh, I need to finish dealing with my tea for a sec. Because that's not the tea, because I just remembered that I owe Togeki some... I think it's Togeki. Some tea with lemon in it. Thank you, thank you. Yep. All right. We also need to figure out what I'm doing. It was not you, okay. Somebody did. I don't remember who though. But I remember it was Lemon, so. vote on what this is, uh, or I can just decide. Chat, if you have something to suggest or say, please let me know. Because what I'm thinking is we can either start a Christmas-themed game that I may not finish prior to Christmas, or we could just roll into something normal and I can save that idea for next year, or uh, by normal I mean something I've already probably played but haven't finished, or... Well, I don't know. <laughs> My brain just was like, nope, I'm not thinking about that on anymore. For a second. I'll let me update my tea as well. Yo, oh, that smells so good. Prognosticating? Okay. What was the last thing? Oh, it was lemon grass. <gasps> I love it when I accidentally click. And it doesn't work. We have one vote for Christmas game. to put a number on it about how many how many gallons of tea do I drink per year we have two votes for a Christmas game all right we'll, we'll switch over to the Christmas game then it's RPG ish if that matters to anyone I think I installed it I did 
I did the smart thing. I should probably pause the music. All right, and then we have some puppy bedtime redemptions. How many how many minutes do we have? It's gamish. No RPG ish. I mean, <laughs> I know, I know. One, two. Is it all pet time? Oh gosh, it is. Okay, so th 13. We have six and a half minutes of Garrus pet time. Let's just... Let's, let's just switch over to the pet time for a bit.
Alrighty, the next game up is a Christmas-ish game. I haven't revealed it to anybody else yet. <laughs> You kick it. Ah! Oh, it's not bad. I liked it. Although I don't know if it qualifies for like a super hard kind of game that you might like. Well, you're a good boy. <laughs> 